Hello and welcome to FMOD in 2 Minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Today, we're talking about continuous parameters. Continuous parameters, unlike discrete, can be used to add gradual and fine changes to an event in FMOD, and I'm going to show you a quick example today. Here I have a music track which I would like to add a filter to, which corresponds to the health of the player. Something that will tell the player that the closer they get to zero health or death, the music will change and signify this change. So very simply, what we're going to do is add a continuous parameter. If we go to this plus button, add parameter sheet, new parameter, I've selected continuous at the top, and we're going to call this health filter. The range I'd like to go from zero to 100, 100 signifying 100 health for the player. And we want the initial value for the parameters to start at to be 100 i.e. the player starts at full health as they would do in a game. Click OK and you can see that we've just added a new window next to the timeline. Next, let's add the filter plugin. At the bottom here, if I click on the track and add effect and go down to FMOD deprecated, low pass simple, and just make sure that the cutoff is at 100% to begin with. Next, right click on the plugin knob and add automation. Again, add curve, and then here we can browse for the continuous parameter that we've just created. Click on that, and you can see up here, if we go back to our health filter, we have this red dotted line now signifying where to add values along the parameter. So if we create two points, one at zero and one at the other end at 100, we can now change the parameter and the value of the filter depending on what value the parameter is stating. So at 100 health, we want the parameter to be at the very top, i.e. no filter effect happening. And at zero, we want it to come down to, I don't know, let's say one kilohertz to begin with. Now let's hear this in action. If you jump back to the timeline and press play. So I'm just clicking and dragging on the parameter at the top to change the value. You could also go to the health filter page and drag along the timeline. But you can hear that the plugin is working and as I move the parameter, the filter is taking effect. Now we might want this to actually happen at, I don't know, 50% health instead of 100. It's just an example to show you how a continuous parameter might be used. And hopefully this adds a new tool to your arsenal when creating parameters in FMOD. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you found it useful, don't forget to subscribe for more beginner tips in FMOD.